I got myself the Anycubic Photon 4 Ultra, which was recommended by the Lightsheet team, 3D printers for beginners, and it was also the most importantly affordable. This thing goes for $259, and I also got the Wash and Cure 3 Plus, which was unnecessary for my situation, as uh, I'm using an uh, ultrasonic cleaner and an air blower to cure the resin out. I'm totally new to 3D printing and I do this to test my jewelry design, check the size and all of that before uh, sending them out to a casting house. First of all, it took them quite a while to be shipped. I only received it after two weeks later. I'm not sure why. Installation wise, it was pretty easy. Just read and follow the instruction from the manual until I got to this part where they gave us a screen protector to protect the screen obviously and I already knew I will mess up this part. Fuck. Sticking this thing perfectly is simply impossible for me. However, I saw a guy somewhere on YouTube that still print perfectly with air bubble. But anyway, after so much frustration, I simply gave up and moved forward without any screen protector. The next step was leveling the plate which was pretty simple. Unscrew the four bolts on the plate, put it on your machine, place a white paper on the screen and press the initial setup button from your machine. Then make sure the paper is tight and then simply tie up back the four bolts. So now I'm ready to test the machine and print some models. For the resin, I will be using the X1 V2 from Bluecast which was a terrible mistake as a beginner in 3D printing. If you think to save money by jumping straight to a resin like the X1, I will suggest to begin with the basic resin, just to get your hands on. And trust me, you will save more money by doing so. But before I go ahead and pour the resin, I went and designed a quick ring on ZBrush and decimated it to a total of 150,000 points and export it as an STL file. For the slicer, I use the Lychee slicer and I think they are the best because they have a YouTube channel where they give us free and clear tutorial on how to use it and they look cool. I got the pro version of it. The first step was adding my printer model and adding a resin setting based on my resin. To find out the resin setting, I had to go back to the Bluecast website and download the resin profile for my printer. They have a profile setting for the lychee slicer, however, this setting is not specific for my printer and this guy, I did not understood it. I still went ahead and print my first print with this setting which end up failing of course. I will explain more a little later on the video on how to solve it. So the first thing I did was simply follow the instruction from Bluecast and heat up the resin to a warm temperature between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius with my tap and loose setup. Shake the bottle, pour the resin and wait about 5 minutes for the bubble to go away and then print your model from the dedicated USB drive that comes with the machine. My first two prints had failed and I did not know why. The procedure to clean the resin is simply scrap off the model of the print, put it into ethyl alcohol and not IPA as instructed from Bluecast. I tried IPA and the prints turned as dark as night. I used the ultrasonic cleaner for about 5 minutes and simply dry it with an air blower. You have to clean your resin tank after each failed print and make sure not to use water to wash the tank because it just won't go away, trust me, I done that. Simply use alcohol instead of water a spray and some wipes. This way you will use less material and do less work. And then you can rinse with uh, water if you want. As I said earlier, all of my prints had failed. So I contacted Bluecast for some advice and they replied within a day. And that's really good if you have any question. To solve the problem was simply to use Chiru Box Slicer along with the resin profile setting available on the Bluecast website. Because I have a subscription from Lychee, I use Lychee to add all my supports for my model but instead of slicing, I select the export as an STL and then use Chiru Box to slice it. 
So that's it. I began to add some uh, successful prints. I learned a lot about my design by printing it. Uh, a tips I would like to give is to always probably uh, add about 1.2 millimeter to uh, accommodate for the shrinkage of the prints. I'm not sure about other resin out there, but this uh, resin does shrinks. Just make sure to add a little more when uh, you design your jewelry and also we have shrinkage from casting and polishing. Thank you guys for watching and please leave a like and uh, some tips below if you have any.